Hey, welcome back everybody. This video is for anyone who bought a Hudson Warrior sawmill uh, since May of 2022. If you guys are getting ready to assemble this thing, uh, hopefully you've read your instructions and you have watched the video, uh, the official video put out by Hudson on how to assemble this thing. It's like 27 minutes long. Heads up, it takes like eight or nine hours. Um, there are a few things that are missing from the instructions and I did another video to Hudson about the things that they're missing. So if you've already seen that one, you probably don't need to watch this one, but I'll go through step by step on how to fix the issues that are missing. The first thing that we ran into when we were doing this is hooking up the gas tank. Um, in the instructions, it just says to plug the two lines that are coming from the motor into the gas tank. There are not two lines. There's only one coming from the motor. That goes into your fuel line right here, okay? This is your fuel line. This is your on-off. It's off right now. This line right here comes, without all these zip ties, from the filter. This filter is already mounted to your engine, your motor, okay? The other line, which is in the packaging, goes on the tank on the fill valve that is an off gas and we rounded it through here okay and brought it around to this other side on your air intake there is a tube that comes out that has a white plug on the end you cut the plug off you put the uh, adapter that goes from three eighths to quarter or whatever size this is in there and that is what that is for that is to suck air out of the tank as it or give air back to it um, i don't know either one but that's where that goes the second major issue that we came to was installing the battery it said connect the positive from the battery to the positive on the motor this is not marked this little doohickey down here okay this is where we hooked it into though, okay? Notice the placement. There is a orange wire that comes from the, comes from the, I don't know, the starter, the key maybe. Um, that is where we ended up hooking this up. We actually had to have my dad, who's a mechanic, come out and show us where to hook this up because you could also hook it up over here, but you could get a short or something. I don't understand electrical, he does, but that's where we hooked it up and that's what works. But it is not marked, okay? So, and then the last thing that you guys need to know about is that on your air intake up here, it comes with a little green filter, okay, that goes around this ring here. These three ports right here that suck air in so that the engine can breathe need to be covered with something before you assemble them at all. I'd recommend quarter inch hardware cloth. I had some window screening in my truck, so I siliconed that in. The reason why is because day one or day two, after we got done using it on day one, we uh, covered this up with a tarp for the night. We came back in the morning and a mouse had gotten in here and already destroyed the filter and put a bunch of that junk down into our fan blades, okay? Luckily, we found it before we started the engine because I don't know what would have happened, but those are the three major issues that we found. The fourth one that I don't even know about yet is that I noticed my choke is not connected to anything. Okay, so I think I need to pull my fan back off and go get some wire or some spring to hook up my choke because as of right now, the choke doesn't do anything, okay? It's just a knob, it doesn't go anywhere, okay? So those are the major issues that we had when we were putting this together. Other than that, it should be a breeze for you guys okay everything goes together just like the instructions say um, and then the only thing that isn't in there that you will need to get is a uh, I think it's called a metric torque wrench so that you can set the uh, tension on the blade um, you'll need to be able to adjust it to I think it was 33 uh, 
pounds per foot or foot pounds or whatever that is. Other than that, guys, everything in the instructions is perfect. And just so you know, we are so happy with this sawmill. I've already used it to cut a bunch of uh, wood, a bunch of four by fours and a bunch of two by fours. And uh, we are very pleased with it. All right, thanks for watching. And uh, I hope this video helped somebody.